The local sugar industry has remained uncompetitive owing to huge operational costs and unfair competition from imported sugar from outside the country. This, coupled with the use of obsolete machines, has seen local factories perform dismally. To rescue these companies and prepare them for sale, Treasury is to write off a total debt of 40 billion shillings, which has been weighing on the farms. Their liabilities are more than the assets, so even if you are to sell them, you would add up with, the, uh, with a deficit. So you want to start on a clean plate, on a clean slate. Companies earmarked for sale include Nzoia, Chemilil, Sony, Muoroni and Miwani. Finance Minister Njeru Gidae says with the Comesa safeguards set to expire by the end of the year, the local sugar industry will find it hard to remain afloat as millers face high production costs. That happens, this country will be flooded by cheap sugar from Comesa, from Comesa countries. Our camp factories cannot be able to, to compete with the sugar from Sudan, from Egypt. But of course that will depend on how they are packaged to be able to attract uh, investors, especially how to deal with the, the debt. Some of them have got uh, quite some heavy, heavy debts which will have to be either bought off or, uh, or restructured in a way that can make them uh, uh, attractive to investors, especially foreign investors who can actually then invest in terms of uh, the capacity of the, of the plants uh, uh, and also uh, operating efficiencies. Currently, only Mumia's sugar, which accounts for 60% of local sugar production in the country and West Kenya, operate in private hands. Denis Otieno, Citizen Business.